Hey everybody, today I'm going to list my top 10 games on the Intellivision based on the Intellivision games I've reviewed so far on my No Swear Gamer YouTube channel. Recently, the Intellivisionaries podcast asked for people to send in their top 10 list for the system, and friend of the show, Brian's Man Cave, helped inspire me to make a video by doing one of his own. So I'm going to post this on my YouTube channel and also plan to send this in audio form to the Intellivisionaries podcast. This list is based on my personal enjoyment of the games playing as a single player, since that is how I play most of my Intellivision games nowadays. I've reviewed about half of the Intellivision library, but there are still several games I've yet to review, so this list could change in the future. Let's start out with some honorable mentions. Diner. A fun sequel and somewhat obscure sequel to Burger Time. It has a nice 3D look and good gameplay elements that help separate it from the original. River Raid. I really enjoy the Atari 2600 original, but I dare say that this is even better. Sub Hunt. I've always been a fan of games with submarines in them, and this is a really good submarine game for an early release. Not for everybody, but I like it. Now for my top 10. Beauty and the Beast. This is one of the better Donkey Kong knockoffs. It plays very quickly and very arcade-like, something that the Intellivision is not known for. Number 9, I have Space Spartans. This one takes some strategery, but when plugged into the Intellivoice, it has some great voice samples and is a blast to play. Number 8, I have Pac-Man. It's ironic that Atari made a much better port of the game for the Intellivision than they did for their own system. Number 7, Shark Shark. First of all, it has sharks, so that's totally awesome, but second of all, it has a very addictive quality to it. Can you nip the shark in the tail? Six Masters of the Universe, The Power of He-Man. I was a big He-Man fan growing up, so I was thrilled to play this as a kid, and it still holds up pretty well today. It's almost like getting two games in one. This game has some great animations and some really good music. Number five, Treasure of Tarman. Who knew you could put so much into a small Intellivision game? This is a very impressive early RPG. Number four, Cloudy Mountain. The original AD&D game is very addictive and it has a lot of replayability thanks to the constantly changing setup of the screen. I really enjoy this game. The sounds, the gameplay, everything. This is a true classic. Number three, Burger Time. I'm a big fan of Burger Time and one of the main reasons why is because of this Intellivision port. It does a great job translating the arcade version into the home market. I had a lot of blast playing this as a kid and still enjoy playing it today. Number two, Thunder Castle. What an interesting take on the maze game formula. It's kind of slow, but I actually kind of like it that way. Has some excellent music, some great animations, and some really cool power-ups. And my number one current favorite game on the Intellivision is Tower of Doom. It's a shame that this game did not come out before the crash. It's possible if it did, it would have been even more polished and even better than it is. But still as it is, this game is such a fun game to play. It takes the previous two AD&D games and combines them into one, making almost a perfect formula. You have some arcadey aspects with a lot of strategy and role playing elements as well. This game also sports several different variations, which really helps the replayability. It has a little bit of a learning curve, but if you like Cloudy Mountain, you should definitely try out Tower of Doom. Thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe, support the show on Patreon, and I'll see you next time.